To anyone who is struggling to find ideas on how to celebrate Valentine's with your girls, your Galentines, I have some ideas that I've written down that I would love to share with you guys. And um, some of them I'm actually doing it with my girls. So I'm going to go through my list and you guys can pick out whichever one you feel like is best for you. Or if you have any ideas, leave in the comments down below or let me know what you guys have planned with your girls. So let's start it off right now. First, we have karaoke. I am actually doing this with my girl tonight and I'm so excited. Karaoke is just a really nice way for you guys to bond and um, just have a great time and just sing your heart out on whatever you're feeling. So karaoke is number one in my list. Next, we have shopping spree. I would say shopping spree is probably not my top priorities when it comes to Galentine's, but I know some girlies out there who love to shop. So there's nothing wrong with going shopping or with your girls. Next, we have dinner and a movie. It could be literally anywhere. Your favourite restaurant and then you can just pick any random movie in cinema or what anything that you have been wanting to watch for a long time and then we have something somewhat similar we have dinner and a theater luckily i live in london so we have the west end right out doorstep so it's really easy for us to just find a nice broadway show but if you guys can't get to like theaters or theaters a little bit out of your budget i completely understand then dinner and a movie is always a great option Next, we have ice skating. Guys, I love ice skating, honestly. I used to go to classes every single Sunday as a kid, and I used to be able to do twists and turns and all sorts of jumps when I was younger. But now I'm not able to do that because I am not a professional ice skater. Um, but this is actually a really great opportunity for you guys to just get out there, spend some time together, and just have an activity. If you're not into ice skating, bowling is a really great one as well. It's just loads of activities and loads of fun and you guys can just laugh at each other for being so bad at rolling balls it's perfectly fine and you get to eat as well because usually bowling places give you some food so this is a really really great idea and another simple one have a sleepover if you guys don't want to go out at all or you're the type of people that don't want to go out then have a nice little sleepover you can't go wrong with that next you can do this while at the sleepover is a spa day so maybe give yourself a facial or a face mask uh, have a cup of tea I don't know, do amazing stuff that, that will help your skin and um, enjoy it while you do it with your girl. And another one is a cute one that me and my friend is going to do tonight as well. Um, buy each other flowers because, you know, you don't have to wait for a guy to give you flowers. You can actually just buy each other flowers and roses. Honestly, it's, it's just going to feed your soul. Next, go to a class. It could be any class, a dance class, a posture class, anything, literally. And then last but not least, get a couple's massage. Now, a couple's massage doesn't have to be for boyfriend and girlfriend or girlfriend and girlfriend or boyfriend and boyfriend. Literally, it is for anyone, including you and your girl. So why not go and get a couple's massage? I mean, it's for everyone, right? It's for two people. That's all you need. Anyways, I hope this is helpful. Bye.